My name is Omar Silla. I'm the head uh, of the Secretariat of the Global Land Tour Network uh, based in Nairobi. I mean, it's wonderful to be in Abidjan to attend this uh, African Land Policy Center conference. It is a very critical moment for us to take a stock uh, on the implementation of the African Land Policy Declaration and to see how far member states has done, gone to address the issue of land governance, but, but also to really assess you know, the weaknesses and the challenges that they are facing toward improving land governance in Africa. Uh, it's timely because right now you have a new framework, which is the SDGs, but also we are all stick to the African vision 2063. I think it's an important moment to see how to carry forward this uh, momentum and make sure at least the land governance is part and parcel of this uh, process of transformation for Africa. So overall, key uh, takeaway for me, I mean, we realize that there's more work that needs to be done for access uh, for youth to land, and which is normal because the Africa continent is crippling with a lot of migration, illegal or legal one, and people are traveling, want to get out of rural area, and this is undermining the production factor in Africa, but at the same time exposing the young generation should contribute uh, to harnessing, you know, the development in Africa. Uh, Another takeaway, women's land right. As you may know it, uh, GL10 took advantage of this uh, important moment as well to launch a gender strategy uh, to build on what had been done already in Africa, but also to leverage more partnership uh, toward achieving you know, the gender equalization in terms of access uh, to land right. And this transpired in all conversation during this week. And I believe that this will give us more strength, but also more resources uh, to get together with African Union and to deal with this issues at different level, global level, regional level, country level. Uh, the other takeaway from this conference as well is the importance of land and peace and stability because we know that Africa is exposed to the risk uh, of uh, conflict uh, derivating from this uh, competition around scarce resources, uh, around land and natural resources. So I think this is uh, an opportunity for the African Union and as ancient in Africa, including the, the Rex, uh, to get ready to really address the issue of land as a factor in stability in Africa. So the whole question is how to turn this as an opportunity uh, to leverage more investment, to foster social cohesion, but also to give more livelihood opportunity to youth and women at the rural and urban level, knowing that Africa as well is moving to, into a rapid trend of urbanization. Those are some reflections of this conference, and we hope that the final declaration will give us another a milestone uh, for partners, for uh, stakeholders to get together to boost you know, this land agenda in Africa for the benefit of poor people, for the benefit of peace and stability, for the benefit of combating climate change in the continent.